Okay, guys, so let's see. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some imagery. I'm going to show you some imagery you haven't seen, nothing that I've presented so far. And then I'm going to compare that imagery to imagery you have seen. Then we're going to sit around like uh, people that have a functioning brain and we're going to think about some things and we're going to kind of reason through a couple things. Okay, because I was watching what the enemy is doing. It's, it's laughable now. It's seriously laughable. So let's, let's just take what we have and we're going to present it. We're going to show the world, oh, what's all this? What is this? Okay, so the Lord had me draw in some stuff. So let me show you what he had me draw in. Somebody tell me what we're looking at right there. Does anyone know what we're looking at? Does anyone know what that might be? Let's just look at that for a second. What might that be? Well, you have a shaft right here. Obviously, it has a darker area right here. You have a split right here. And I made this area a little different color than this area for a reason. Hmm. Okay. Let's move on. Now, you may not recognize this, but this is the same exact image again. I just, when I present it sometimes, I just leave little nuances so the viewers can decide for themselves. Now, none of this motion that's in the artwork have I enhanced at all. See the motion right here? See the black lines going this way and these black lines going all towards the center, kind of like a shaft, that this is like a shaft right here. And the shaft seems to be disappearing behind this veil uh, kind of like there, and I've just made it a little bit different color just for your perception. What might that be? Hmm. Now, y'all remember the Statue of Liberty, right? Um, I'm going to start, I'm going to start another series where I'm going to call it the definitive series. And what I'm going to do is for all the people that haven't been here for the past, you know, 10 years, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one video at a time and I'm going to do like the definitive sheep folder. And I'm going to go through a folder that's all about sheep. That'll be the whole video. Then I'm going to do a video that's called the definitive Statue of Liberty video. So what you may have seen in a group of different videos in the past, now you're going to see consolidated into one really well put together all the data together in one video not like you know the statue of liberty where the lord reveals oh wow it's on top of an 11 pointed star called a hindecagram and a hindecagram in jewish kabbalah is called the kelepot which is the host body it means shell peel or husk housing the essence of holiness so see the lord reveals things to me in stages so I can digest it and not totally freak out. <laughs> ah! And so then what I do is, when the Lord reveals it to me, I come to y'all and I'm like, check this out. And I show it to you. So there may be video after video that's, you know, the Statue of Liberty. And the next video after the first one will have a little more. Oh my gosh, it's got a spiral staircase <gasps> that represents DNA. You know, and then... Oh my gosh, she's holding a torch that's a penis. And then, oh my gosh, the flame is a scorpion stinger. You see what I mean? So those may be four different videos. Now they're going to be one video. And I'm going to call it the definitive series because it's it's definitive. It's, it's solved. It's resolved. So I'm going to present all that imagery at one time in one video for one subject. That'll make it real easy. So if you want to tell someone, hey, you know, you want to see the Statue of Liberty, go get the Statue of Liberty definitive video instead of trying to go look around for five or six different Statue of Liberty videos, you know. And that's the way we're going to do it. That way we can 
you know, pass them on to friends without trying to look for one. You know what I mean? It's really hard to go back and find the exact video you may be looking for. But not if it's called the definitive sheep, definitive Statue of Liberty, definitive, you know, male and female reproductive systems. So that's the way I'm going to do the next, you know, drop. But watch this. Okay. So I showed you some pictures at the beginning. What was that? Well, let's look at the Statue of Liberty. Uh, what's that she's holding in her hand? Huh. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so on this picture, I just I superimposed the Statue of Liberty in front of the Twin Towers. Ready? In front of the Twin Towers. Okay. So there she is holding her nifty torch with the scorpion stinger in front of the Twin Towers. What is that bottom of the torch thing right there? Oh, wait a minute. I already showed you that, right? Yeah, we started with, what is that? Is that just like a shaft disappearing into another dimension? You know what? Okay, so what's this right here? The bottom of your screen right here. What is that? This right here. Huh. Hmm. Let's keep going. Y'all remember Debbie and Harry that, you know, cut the heart out of her own cake, don't you? Yeah. Remember? There she is. So, there's, a, there's one Debbie right there. You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll go over here and use this one. I'll take this, and there's one Debbie, and there's another Debbie. So, one, the number one in front of the number one makes the number 11. One and one. And um, you remember the angel of the bottomless pit is 9-11 and they had a king over them the angel of the bottomless pit who had a king over them the locusts that have tails like scorpions those are the ones that have a king over them and his name is apollyon abaddon apollyon the angel of the bottomless pit revelation 9 11 well you know if you hold up Two, two things like that. Well, that could look like the Twin Towers. Could look like the number one next to the number one. Could look like Debbie Harry next to a Twin w, Debbie Harry. You know, just helping you think, reason through some stuff. So, let's see. They like, I showed you repetitively, they like the number, the letter V because it's a Roman numeral five. And when you put 5 and 5 or V and V together, it makes a double U. And in a twin system, if this is what's going on inside your head, there's good and evil. That's a twin system, just like you have two different lobes of your brain. You have two different lobes, don't you? Yeah, you do. Okay, well, let's just keep going. Tell you what, let's jump back to that first folder. That's a Sumerian god right there. That's a really nifty helmet he's got on, isn't it? Huh. That's really nifty. Let's see. Let's. Y'all remember that shaft thing right there, don't you? Let me show you the god Janus. J A N U S. Let me show you Janus. There you go. Okay, so I didn't enhance this except I showed you the colors a little more definitively now again this is a god that's got faces going the opposite direction one's looking this way one's looking that way you know I vaguely remember something like that with um Marina Abramovic the witch and a guy named Jay-Z you know, they think they know everything and they're mocking everybody. But let's just go back to this folder. Oh, that's interesting. I colored 
the leaves a different green here and a different green here to represent, you know, like two different plants growing together like wheat and weeds. And then I just simply uh, see these lines that are vertical right here. Those really don't match the beard, do they? Now, these lines right here, are just, just so we're very clear, I didn't make those lines vertical like that. Neither did I make all these black movements lines. And for those of y'all that are artists or have ever been involved in art, Art has what's called movement, and as a matter of fact, most of my artwork that I did was all about movement. That's why I took a grinder and I'd just do images on walls like the shape of a girl's body would be zoo, and I'd just zoo, and then I'd shine lights on it, and the movement would show you what you were looking at. And that's going to be recorded in one of these definitive videos as well. So let's let's go back and look at some stuff. So is that a shaft disappearing into a place or or is that just the neck of a guy a god named Janus? Now remember we're in a duplicitous system according to the Bible. The Bible says, cleanse your hearts, you double minded tells you in James 1.5 it says if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask God who gives to all men liberally and without reproach and it will be given to you it's what I do all the time hey Lord I don't know what to do tell me what to do he shows me what to do because I know we'll answer in the book of James when it says but let him who ask ask in faith because if you don't expect an answer then you're double-minded and you're unstable in all your ways wow that looks just like the God Janus doesn't it it's two different heads. Oh, that looks just like Jay-Z, doesn't it? Wow, that's like Cain and Abel, isn't it? Wow, that's like the double-headed phoenix, isn't it? Oh, is that what the Twin Towers is all about? I wonder who runs the twin system. Well, the city of Waco has this nifty W right here with a star and a, a crescent moon. And when you turn it upside down, this W, see for the letter W in the city of Waco, you turn it upside down, it becomes 9-11 because they had a king over them, the angel of the bottomless pit. That's Revelation 9-11. So Revelation 9-11 is talking about the scorpions from the pit. We can call them locusts, but I like scorpions better because I could care less how they fly. That's the reason they're called locusts, by the way. If you look up the definition... It says, from the way they move, locusts, from the way they move, lighting on top. You know, like if you ever see a butterfly, he comes down to the flower and he's, wah, 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 wah. that's called lighting. He's sitting there like maintaining his position in an aerial stance over the flower to get his proboscis in. Okay, well, that's the reason they call them locusts in Revelation 9-11. However, they give us a really great description of what the locusts look like. And I'm going to go over that in just a minute. And they have tails like unto scorpions. Now, see, that's the part that concerns me. Because I could care less how they fly, but if they have a tail like unto scorpion, and the sting is in their tail, and they have the power to hurt men, and men will seek death and will not find it. Now you got my attention. Because you know what? The way they fly doesn't mean anything, but what they can do to you, now that's important. So, men will seek death and will not find it. They'll desire to die and death will flee from them. Sounds like you're incapacitated and you can't do anything because I'll tell you what, if somebody wanted to kill themselves, you know, if men will seek death and will not find it, the only way you couldn't really find it is as something stopping you from, you know, attaining your goal, which would be, you know, more than likely incapacitated because you've been stung by some supernatural creature from the pit and you're all, Ugh, you know, like the guys in the alien movies with Sigourney Weaver and something's just waiting to gestate inside of you so you can become something else, maybe. Hmm. Well, let's go keep doing our little due diligence and let's keep looking. Okay, so here you have a double god named Janus and we know that... In the Bible, and I've been over this repetitively, but it's all worth going over very quickly, that I showed you in, Re in Genesis 4 that, you know what, let's go ahead and do Genesis 4 just so nobody tries to 
argue against it. Genesis 4. And Adam knew Eve, his wife. The word for wife means woman slash adulteress. And she had conceived and bare Cain. Cain, the name of the first child. And it means to, it means in the sense of fixity as a spear. Now, in the sense of fixity, a lance as striking fast, a spear. Let's see, would, would that be like striking fast if you wanted to have sex with her before someone else? Like a spear, like striking fast, so that you could plant your seed in there first? Huh, well, let's go back and let's read. Okay, so... I'm going to go to the Targum, and I'm going to go back and forth from the Targum to the Bible. And Adam knew Hava, his wife, who had desired the angel. Huh. Who had desired the angel. And she conceived and bare Cain. She said, I have acquired a man, the angel of the Lord. Oh, wow. Lucifer in the flesh. And she added to bear from her husband, Adam. Oh, is that why they call her the adulteress in the Bible? She added to bear from her husband, Adam, his twin, even Abel. Is that why the Bible says, cleanse your hearts, you double-minded? Is that why Cain and Abel, when you put them together, is cannibal? Cannibal? Because you're in a mental cannibalistic system because your thoughts are or what are destroying you in a mental prison because you have two influences running you, one good, one evil? Could that possibly be the case? Oh, my gosh. Huh. Well, let's go to the Bible and see what the Bible says about that. And so she conceived and she bare Cain, which is the sense of fixity, you know, like a penis maybe in a vagina, a lance. Oh, like maybe as a penis, like striking fast, a spear. And then the name Kajin, it means to strike a musical note, like at a funeral, a chant, or well, or mourning woman. Huh, that's interesting. That that sounds like a frequency inside your head that's not good. And she said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. I want to draw your attention to the number man right here. The word man is Hebrew word 3. 76. And I'm going to go to Genesis 1 real quick. And I'm going to show you that the original formation in Genesis 1 when Elohim, a bunch of gods, gods that are of the supreme God, decided to make a man. They said, let us create man. The word is Hebrew word 120. It is not 376. And it's Adam. I like saying it Adam. And it means ruddy, that is human being, uh, species of mankind, hypocrite. So... The word man right here is Hebrew word 120. I'm going to highlight that for you very quickly. So you see it in yellow. Hebrew H120. Let's go back to Genesis 3 real quick. So, I'm sorry, Genesis 4. So let's see. Cain means to strike fast and to strike a musical note like a frequency. She said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. Okay, huh. Let's see what this means. It says, the word is ish. It is not Adam. And it means a man as an individual of a male person from the root 582, which means properly a mortal. Oh, well, was there an immortal involved in this? Uh, and, and look, and thus differing from the more dignified H120. Because this word number here, Enosh, is different, and it says, and thus differing from the more dignified H120, a man singularly or collectively, and it also implies a bloodthirsty, and it also says that it is a mortal man as opposed to immortal because it was probably immortal to begin with wasn't it so here we go so she said i have gotten a man so a mortal bloodthirsty let's walk it back one now to the root a fail feeble melancholy desperately wicked 
incurable because it's the devil in the flesh, sick, woeful, bloodthirsty, mortal man. Well, that's, it doesn't say anything like that at all about the word 120 when it talks about, huh. This is the impregnation of Eve, by the way. And again, she bare his brother Abel. Again, let's see, to add or augment. Okay, it means to continue, okay, to continue to do a thing. Well, what was the thing that Eve was doing when she, it says, well, she bare, see, and she bare, right there, 3205, to bear young, to beget, to birth. So she was birthing Cain. It says right there, she bare, right there, 3205, right here. She bare Cain, a bloodthirsty a mortal, incurably sick, desperately wicked man. And again, she bear, she bring forth, it's the same word, to birth. And it says again to add or augment. And again, she bear, so she augmented this first birth. She continued birthing and she bear Abel, his brother, Abel, the son of Adam. Huh. Okay, well, let me ask you right now in the very beginning in Genesis 4, if she brought forth two, and one was because someone struck fast as a sense of fixity, like a lance, spear, hmm. Hmm. sounds like the devil impregnated Eve, doesn't it? Well, it is, because that's exactly what happened. Because that's why the largest altar in the world is what it is. And that's why the god Janus is a shaft right here in skin color disappearing behind this beard that's a little dark with this pink. And now let me show you the original so you know there has been nothing added to it. Let me see if uh, I have it. There we go. So you can see that all I simply did was change a few colors for you in order for you to see it. And I think you should really pay attention to this part right here where the beard is that's a perfect location for that isn't it especially this little loop right here i've seen that before yep and what an interesting set of lines that go towards the middle to make push this part out down huh that's fascinating isn't it oh it created two faces going the opposite direction and if i colored this in right here and colored this in right here like maybe red it would make a big red x wouldn't it see the x here that's a big x just made out of the two beards just simple observations oh did you know jesus said i've come to judge the world and to give sight to the blind and to show those who think they see that they are blind he did he said that and then the jews said what are you saying that we're blind and jesus said you know if you're really blind you wouldn't be guilty but your guilt remains because you claim you can see. I wonder what the word see means in that scripture. Let's go have a look. I happen to know that one off the top of my head. Even though I haven't looked up the word see, I already know what it means in my spirit. John chapter 9, I'm sure it means exactly what I think it means. To closely inspect. I have come to judge the world that they which see not might see. Let's see what the word... Oh, wow. So the word see means to perceive, to behold, to take heed. That's what it means. Let's look at this root of the word. To gaze, that is with eyes wide open as something remarkable. Wow. Signifies an earnest but more continued inspiration. Inspection. Huh. Well, let's go look. Let's have a, let's do a continued inspection. Well, that's the way I was able to see that the guy Alex drew a dead sheep behind my ear because I was able to see and do a more continued inspection. I wonder why the Lord called me at the point of my life when I owned a company called Vampire Sunglasses. You know, like a vision company for vampires. What? That's kind of weird, right? But it had a really great antidote. You know, come out of the darkness into the light with 
Vlad eyewear. Because <laughs> you're a vampire and you can't come outside because you live in total darkness. But come on out of the darkness and just put on our shades. <laughs> Pretty good marketing, right? Made Guinness's Book of World Records twice. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's do a little closer inspection of some things that the Lord told me to take a close look at. But before we do, <laughs> let's go look at Jude. Jude, you know that little book? It's only got one chapter. Jude chapter 1. Okay, and angels which kept not their first estate. Let me show you what the word estate means. It means a commencement in order of time, place, or rank, a beginning. I'm going to change some colors. A commencement, order of time, place, or rank, beginning. Well, what, what are all angels' beginnings? Where do we begin? Where I mean, I said we because I know I'm an angel. I'm a fallen angel that got redeemed. Oh, Jonathan Clark said he's a fallen angel. Oh, the false prophet hunters. Go do your videos right now. <laughs> go do one. Jesus said we're fallen angels. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. Let me prove it. Let me prove to you that Jesus said we're fallen angels real quick. Ready? Let's just... Let's just knock these false prophet hunters out of their seats. Oh, Y'all should know this one by now. John chapter 10. And I don't do the NIV except to help people understand simple language. However, John 10, 34. But so Jesus said, I and my father are one. Right there he says that, doesn't he? Well, let me ask you a question. What is the name that was prophesied that the coming of the Messiah in, in Isaiah 7? And behold, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son. You shall call his name. Y'all should know this by now. Emmanuel. What does it mean? With us is El. Emmanuel. With us is El. The Almighty God. El is the Almighty God. So, Emmanuel just means with us is the almighty God L. That's all it means. And he's in the system catching all the rebels that left their first estate, which was heaven, and decided to do a host body system and inhabit those host bodies and have sex and do whatever you want. Make the world whatever you want it. It can be whatever you want it to be. Live out the dream. Yeah. So L came into the system. The Almighty God is L, and Emmanuel is with us as L, with us as the Almighty God into the system. Wonder why they hate Jesus so much around here. I wonder why they hate the truth so much. <gasps> because Jesus is the truth. Let's see what Jesus said. <laughs> he said, I and my Father are one. That's right. L and Emmanuel. So the Jews took up stones to stone him again. Jesus said, Many good works have I shown you from my Father. Which of these works do you stone me for? And the Jews said, for good work we stone thee not, but for speaking evil, blasphemy. Because that thou, being a man, wait a minute, makest thyself God. No, no, no. He's L that made himself a man. He, they got it exactly backwards. Because, see, I and my father are one. Okay, L came into the system and impregnated Mary with the Holy Spirit. And then the Holy Spirit was birthed into the flesh. And then he is L walking around in a man suit, isn't he? Oh, that's funny because we're all a bunch of angels walking around in a man suit. But we have a supernatural angel demon spirit that's running us. That's why we're in opposition to ourselves. We got one right eye that's right side up, one that's upside down. That's why the Bible says if your eye be single, the whole body's full of light. Because our eyes are double, one up, one down. Yeah, it's all starting to make total sense now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, by the way, just for the record, my little bit of this sharp stick poke in the bears. 
I'm just doing this for all the false prophet hunters. Now, for those of y'all that understand the truth, you're probably loving this video, aren't you? You're like, oh, dude, bam, bam, bam. Take that, Satan's kingdom. Let's come out of the darkness into the light. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Ready? So here you go. So the Jews are going to stone him. He said, for all these good works, you're going to stone him? He said, no, because you being a man, eh, he's the Lord God in the flesh. Make his thyself God. Got it backwards. Made himself a man. It should have said, you being the almighty God, made yourself a man. Correct. Same thing y'all did. Y'all made yourself into men. You decided to take on host bodies and wanted to have sex. Jesus said, is it not written in your law? Now, right there. Let me ask you a question. Who's the law belong to? They put themselves under the law. Your law. I said, ye are gods. See, look. I said, ye are gods. And then he said, if he called them gods unto whom the word of God came. And the scripture cannot be broken. So there you go. And then he says, save him whom the father is sanctified. And so he's talking about himself now. Say ye of him whom the father is sanctified and sent into the world. So because see, the father is L and he sent the son into the world, into the world. You're saying I blasphemous because I said I am the son of L. <laughs> See, he's got him. He busted them all right then and there. So he was quoting Psalm 82, and we're just going to knock them down one at a time, folks. Psalm 82, ready? And we're going right back to Jude. Psalm 82. See, I have said, I have said, ye are gods. Look at that right there. I have said, ye are gods. Elohim. See, the same word as Genesis 1 when they're creating their male and female system because they want to have sex and make babies and be creators. And uh, the Lord's like, okay, it's a forbidden fruit. You shouldn't do it. Don't do it. They did it. They're thieves. They stole what didn't belong to them. And they and Lucifer lured away God's children, his, his angels. Lucifer set his heart is the heart of Elohim. I showed you. Ezekiel 28. Thou set thou art L. Thou art not L. Thou set thy heart is the heart of Elohim. So see, Lucifer set his heart is the heart of all these angels and let them all astray. Come on, go with me, guys. We can all have sex. Yeah, sex party. Has anyone ever seen the trailer for the movie Sausage Party by Seth Rogen? Go watch it. Yeah. Sausage Party. Because the whole earth is... A sausage party. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. But now we can see it. So, here we go. So, see, Psalm 82, Jesus said, I have said ye are gods. That's Psalm 82.6. The word is Elohim. Gods of the supreme God. That means you're of El and you're angels. You can call them angels. You can call them magistrates. Or you can call them gods. They're all the same. And all of them are of the supreme God, which is L. So you are all, see, it even says, look, I've said you are gods. The word gods means is Elohim of the supreme God, magistrates, angels. And you're all children of, look, it even says, all of you are children of the Most High. L, yon, the, the, the supreme Most High God, there it is. So no one can argue with it, but what's their dissonance? But you shall die. There's your dissonance. It means to die, causatively to kill, to be put to death. There you go. Destroy. You shall die like Adam, men, human beings. And you shall fall. See the word fall? No, fall. To fall, to cast down, cast out. See, cast, parentheses down. Cast, parentheses, out. Divide. Oh, fugitives. Be judged. Oh, because they're running from God. Oh, let's leave heaven and go do our own thing. We'll go through the portal. We'll, you know, we'll disappear and we'll make ourselves our own earth and everything will be ours. <laughs> it's not yours. 
you're done. Anyway, so now let's go have a look at what all this is saying again. And let's go up, and y'all have seen this altar, but the Lord told me, Jonathan, zero in on the angels. Y'all remember, like, all these images, right? We're going to get to that in a sec, but we're going to go back to the Bible to remember Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1. And angels which kept not their first estate, which is a commencement or beginning order of time, rank magistrate, principality, power, and rule. Oh, so angels that didn't stay in their beginning, which is heaven... Angels that didn't keep their first commencement where they were birthed in heaven. Angels are beings that are birthed in heaven. They come up through an eternal garden that always grows. A self-perpetuating energy of El. The garden of Elohim. But Lucifer set his heart as the heart of Elohim and said, Come with me and carried them away captive hmm. it's pretty good so angels that kept not their first estate and left and left left behind to look to leave behind and left the and for to forsake their left their own habitation residence which was heaven he hath reserved in everlasting chains okay let's see everlasting Forward and backwards, everlasting chains, Sh ligament shackle of the ligament of the body. Right here, look, ligament of the body. Going to make it pink. Ligament of the body or shackle of a prisoner. Did you ever wonder why the Statue of Liberty actually has? A shackle on her leg. Uh, one's to represent their escape from heaven and doing what they wanted to do. To, they rose against the authority in heaven. No, we want to do this. Okay, go ahead. Or ligament of the body or shackle of a prisoner. But the word everlasting chains is, look, forward and backward ligaments of the body. Oh, you mean like twins, Cain? And Abel, one going one way, one going the other way. One right side up, one upside down. Like Marina Abramovic and Jay-Z with their hair all knotted and braided together. Oh, is that why we have a thing called the Twin Towers? They blew up and they turned the two into one because their goal was to take two different things and combine them together and end up with the synthesis of the two that Lucifer, or, you know, the angel, I, I won't call him Lucifer anymore because he's been cast down. Now he's Satan, the accuser of the brethren. And he is looking for his own host body system where there's no more of that other spirit at all. Why do you think Marina Abramovic has a thing called spirit cooking? What a weird thing. Hey, let's get together and cook some spirits. John Podesta, Hillary, come on over. We're doing some spirit cooking. I'll be there at 7. Sounds great. I'll be there at 9. I'll be there at 11. Yeah. You know, come on over. We're going to cook some spirits. Well, I'll, I'll write a spell on the wall. And I'll use the letter W to start the spell, which is an intersection of a V and a V, like 5 and 5. With a sharp knife, cut deeply into the finger of your le the middle finger of your left hand, and eat the pain. Gee, what does that make? I'll do it with this hand because that finger is broken. Does that make a W? It does. And what? Eat the pain. That's sick. Okay. Well, what a nifty thing. That's made with semen. So, what's your pain, Marina? Well, it's semen, breast milk and blood huh well, that's all the stuff to sustain life that's interesting oh because you're spirit cooking 
your one spirit is cooking the other, I guess. Oh, that would be a good reason for the Twin Towers to be right there with uh, the Statue of Liberty off to the side holding a big penis with a scorpion stinger because the scorpions from the pit or where you end up going because you're in a duplicitous system. That's why it's a forbidden fruit because you get in deep, deep trouble for doing it because you end up in the pit. And in the pit are a bunch of xenomorphs like the H.R. Geiger movies. Huh, that's why they built the Twin Towers right there under the Washington Arch. And it happens to say right there behind Washington, oddly enough, it says Exitus Octa Probat right behind them, which means the outcome justifies the deed. So they're saying to get their outcome is justified by the deed of killing all God's angels. Wow, that's pretty neat. It all seems to fit really well, doesn't it? <laughs> but let me get to this part. Let's really get to this part. So now... And angels which kept not their own commencement or beginning and left their own habitation, residence, which was heaven, he has reserved under everlasting forward and backward chains of darkness, ligaments of the body, <clears throat> chains of darkness unto the judgment. Judgment. Let's look at judgment. Tribunal by implication, justice, accusation, condemnation, damnation, and judgment unto the judgment of the great day. Now, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, like what's that mean? In a similar fashion, the same way, in, in appearance or character, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, a turn, mode, or style, the same as, going after, no, I'm sorry, even as Adam, Gomorrah, and sees about them in like manner, same style, giving themselves over to fornication. Now watch. It means to be utterly unchaste, to give over to fornication. Well, that's what, the garden is all about because first they had to consume the words of Lucifer and they had to apostatize in heaven and be led astray. And then everything gets quarantined down here on the earth and plays out. And then let's look at the root of the word fornication. It means to act the harlot. Well, I'm going to show you that the Catholic Church is the harlot and it's the, the, the representation on this planet of the harlot. But the whole mother goddess system is the, the, the female, the woman that rides the beast. It's the whole mother goddess system. But to act the harlot, that is literally or to indulge in unlawful lust of sex. Look, of sex or figuratively practice idolatry which is committing fornication. Let me help you out with that because I'm going to show you a picture right now. To create a host body system and to have sex is idolatry. Now, let's just be honest. I'm just going to talk honestly and just let's be honest, okay? I don't know about you guys, but back in my youth and in my teens and through high school and college and all the wild times I, I had, I was always like looking for the, you know, a, a very attractive girl to be with. And if you think about it, when you're together and when you're having sex with them, in a way, it is, if you think about the reality, you're kind of, because you're having sex with someone that's really attractive, somehow, in I, at least it was in my mind, and somehow in my mind, that formulated into, well, you know, like that's my trophy up there on the, on the mantle. And here's another trophy and here's another one. And I used to keep a photo album. I did. It's, yeah. Like, yeah, this girl, she was super hot. This, oh, pff, this girl. I did. I used to keep girls that I dated. I wouldn't just throw their pictures away. I'm like, oh no, she was, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I remember her. Oh, yeah. Kind of like a little trophy case. Just being honest. How about you? I used to know girls that were the same way. They wanted to be with this guy for this reason or that reason. And they kept like a little trophy case. It's idolatry. I know because I used to do it. So it says right here that angels that left their own commencement, their own beginning, and went after strange sex, in like manner, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, in like manner, going after strange flesh, because Sodom and Gomorrah, that's where the word sodomy comes from. You know, anal sex. Yeah. So like the cities about them going after strange flesh, because the sodomy thing is strange flesh. It's against the pathway of love. So anyway, so it's really odd, isn't it? So angels decided to do that. But what was their manner of doing? It? Oh, well, we're just going to create host bodies and we're going to go after strange flesh. Now, let me prove that out in a giant altar that's going to blow your mind. Ah, get ready to freak out. <laughs> so here it is. To act the harlot. That is literally, literally indulge in unlawful lust of sex or figuratively practice idolatry commit fornication because fornication is a form of idolatry you want to see these angels that did this y'all want to see uh what happened by the way i told you the lord told me that i was to get a parachute and write v for vengeance on it Right at this upcoming thing that's going to happen in Grand Junction, I ordered my parachute. It says V for vengeance, right side up, upside down. And because the V right here it says vengeance this way, and then you flip it, it says vengeance upside down, it happens to make a big red X. Wow, that's crazy. That's what's the face of Janus. Remember, it makes a, makes a big X on his face if you just simply look right here there is a big x two-faced okay so now let's go look at what the lord showed me in this now guys i'm just going to tell you i'm kind of burnt out on this altar because i've seen it so much how about y'all are y'all burnt out on that altar a little bit be honest yeah i'm like dude i've seen that altar so many ah, it's a penis it's a vagina it's a bunch of angels melting into semen and i'm sick of it the Lord told me it was the single greatest way to understand the system. It is the system hidden in plain sight. It's Genesis verse chapter 1, verse 2. And the spirit, because angels are spirits, the spirit of Elohim, God's angels, magistrates, moved over the semen. So that whole altar has a penis, a vagina, and a bunch of angels melting into semen. That's kind of disgusting. But what's so crazy is it's a physical representation of what the group that runs the show here worships. See, they worship it because it gives them all their juice, so to speak, their energy. That's where they get it. They get it from us because if someone uh, ejaculates into a girl, well, what went inside of them was life got shot in there and there's a little swimming thing called a sperm that's got a little spark of life and when that sperm penetrates this little prison called an egg it goes in it makes a hard shell around it and the sperm is trapped inside and then they start cell dividing and you end up with a new host body with a soul trapped inside wow it's perfect but look, watch this so the lord told me very specifically look Go find an image of these angels. Get a high-res image. Y'all know the whole thing's a big dead sheet. That's a penis ejaculating a seed into this, which is Satan's kingdom, which is the flesh. Because if you were, if you wanted to, if you wanted to set a snare for anybody, for God's angels, and you wanted to create a, a way to get their energy willfully or where they willfully gave it over. They're willfully giving over their lives, their energy. You'd have to make a really good piece of eight, wouldn't you? I, if someone said, hey, let me have your life right now, Jonathan, I'd be like, eh, maybe not. But if some girl was saying, let's have sex, back in the old days, I would have been, well, let's see, first you got to meet the criteria. Okay, you met those. Okay, well, okay. 
so you just willfully gave over what is alive that came out of you. Do you understand? Yeah. And now you have Genesis 1, which was male and female. Looks like the number 11. I'll put it over here. So here's Genesis 1, male and female. And then you have Genesis 2, where God takes Adam and forms him from the dust. And then he pulls out of his side Eve. So then you have male and female over here, male and female over here. And it all intermixes. And then you got a big bunch of confetti. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so here we go. So y'all y'all have seen this so many times. I, I know everyone's got to be like, dude, I've seen this enough. Well, so have I. I had to draw it in. I, I had to sit there and study it and discern it. So believe me when I tell you I've seen this thing enough. But you want to see something really cool. <laughs> you want to see something really cool? Yeah. What were those everlasting chains of darkness? Well, remember Marina Abramovic, male and female energies. Marina Abramovic back to back with Jay-Z with their hair braided together, which is a representation of our prison. Okay. And that's, that's what they worship. The other team from the pit, that's what they worship. That's why they built a big altar to it, to worship it. They're worshiping an idol. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're not supposed to make those, are we? No. No, we're not. And making the human host body system is an idol because it says it right there in the Bible. It says, watch, and let's see. So fornication, look at the root of the word, a strumpet, figuratively, an idolater, harlot, whore. There you go. So fornication, and I'll show you again, to be utterly unchaste, give self over to fornication. So everybody had to agree to it. Yeah, we'll go. We're on Lucifer's team. We want to have sex to act a harlot. Uh, that is literally to indulge in unlawful lust, either sex or figuratively it means practice idolatry, which is dash commit fornication. So idolatry and fornication are the same thing. Okay. Now I'll prove it using a supernatural, super cool, super cool gift. <laughs> there we go. All glory to God. Okay. So one time the whole system is what? A dead sheep. There's a the sheep. Oh, that's a penis. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Whoa. Okay, the whole, the whole, uh, the whole thing is a sheep. There's a sheep below. There's an altar that's a sheep. You look at it right side up. There's a penis ejaculating the seed. You turn this upside down, and we move it right down here. Isaiah 29:15 says. Woe unto them who go to great depths to hide their plants from the Lord. They do their works in darkness. And they say, who seeth us? Who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be as seen as a potter's clay. Now watch. Let me show you something. If I take this image right here and I go on top of this one, it makes a big X, doesn't it? No way. X marks a spot. Look at that. It's a big X. See the X? And the X is made from a right side up, upside down image of the male and female reproductive systems on this altar. So when it's upside down, it's the female reproductive system. I'll go the other direction. Watch. There you go. So there's the female and it's upside down. And then there's the male and it's right side up. So one way it's upside down, it's female, right side up, it's male, which is the entire system. So, let me tell you what the Lord told me to do. He wanted to show me something. And I didn't struggle too much, but a little bit. I was like, oh, really? I heard the Lord tell me, you need to zero in on the angels. You know, the angels that make up the pubic hair all around that window, the opening to the vagina, which is the window which is the way into the system. So the Lord told me, get a high-res image. And I went online. I paid 19 bucks for this image. There it is. Let's have a look. 
Okay, so you see that image? That's a high res image. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open up another tab and I'm going to open up the same thing. So you got so I can jump back and forth without doing too much clicking. Ready? This is going to blow your mind, you guys. <laughs> they're so done. They can stick a fork in themselves because they're done. So this is where it started just briefly. I'm going to go like this. So the Lord told me, color in the angels. And so I started taking, you know, a marker and like coloring in the angels. And I'm like, okay, well, I see the angels and there's the semen running down the side of the altar. So that's that's an opening and there's the semen running down the side of the altar. I'm sorry, that's what it is. But watch this. Y'all ready? You know what? Hey, let me do this. Are y'all ready? Watch this. This is amazing. So the Lord told me, look closely, you know, like we're supposed to. And I was like, oh my gosh, something's going on here. Now it's so high res. I was like, wait a minute. Wait just a second. Let's look at these guys' hair. Oh, look, there's an eye and a nose and a mouth. There's a face facing the opposite direction on that angel. And I started looking. I'm like, wait a minute. There's a face right here facing the opposite. There's the eye. There's the nose. There's the open mouth. There's the beard. And there's a face on the back of this angel. Oh, my gosh. There's faces on the backs of the heads of the angels. And I was like, wait a minute. And look, they're all, they're falling. Look at the movement. This guy looks like he's straight up doing a skydive right here. And look, this guy's got like a lion eye open mouth, ear. I'm like, wait a minute. This thing's got all kinds of hidden stuff. They got horns like devils. What's going on? Look at the profile here. Look at the nose and the open mouth. Oh my gosh. They purposely put, wait a minute, just like Jay-Z and Marina Abramovic. One face looking one way, one looking the other way, you know, like Janus. You know, the the Roman god that looks like a penis penetrating a vagina? That one. The one we started this video with. Let me show you Janus's in just a minute. But let's look at this. Let's look at this. Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> it's so crazy. They're like, oh, I made their hair like that for a reason. Now, the people that are the heads of all this, they know what's going on absolutely the bosses they know and by the way i got a new uh i didn't actually get this bandana new it's been in my drawer for a long time i just never wore it i want to show you something in a minute okay so let's enlarge this now watch so i colored the angel's body's blue but look right here there's two faces there's the eye there there's the nose there, there's the mouth there, there's the beard there. And you can even, and I'll show you, I just put a little dot there to make it easy for you to see eye, eye, mouth. But even if you just cover up this half, this half is made by another face, eye here. And I started looking and I'm like, wow, this is common on this. So let me go show you what I did. I started drawing them in. I started coloring them in so you could see them. Wow, it's the same as Janus. Oh, and angels that left their first estate. Oh, my gosh. And then the Lord said, Jonathan, what do you think you're looking at? I'm like, oh, I'm looking not only at Genesis 1, verse 2, and the spirit of Elohim moved over the semen because all the spirit of the angels is turning into semen. But I'm also looking at Jude, angels that kept not their first estate. Because now they have everlasting chains of darkness associated with the, the idol. And what's the whole altar? It's a penis going into a vagina. Fornication. All the angels gave themselves over to fornication. They were led astray. Oh, you mean like Jeremiah 29? Yeah, the word... Taken captive means made naked to denude. I showed it to you. I told you. 
<laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so let's do it. Now watch. I'm going to start penciling in some stuff. Real simple. I'll show you the easy stuff. Ready? So let's see. So there you go. There's the like the lion on this one. Here's the eye. There's the nose. There's the open mouth. There's the ear going back. So this one makes like a cat. You know what's really crazy is I remember seeing these these shirts these girls wear and it has a cat it'll say hunter and I'm like I think that girl's a hunter she's hunting men hunting their souls yeah fornicate with me that's what fornication is all about that's why all fornicators go into the pit the Bible says it anyone that hasn't repented of fornication you go into the pit let me show you this one now I just started like drawing in colors I'm like Oh, like, look right here. Here, look at this. You see the eye right here? There's the eye. There's the nose. There's the open mouth. Now, I'm going to cover up the other part of the face. It's a profile. There's the eye. There's the nose. There's the mouth. There's the beard. And then you can also view it to where that's an eye and that's an eye. And this is a nose, like a half and half face with a frowny mouth where it makes a whole face. Or a profile. Look at this one over here. There's the nose. There's the open mouth. Oh my Lord, everlasting chains of darkness. <laughs> no, I'm probably a false prophet. Yeah. <laughs> All you false prophet hunters, God have mercy on you. But I'm afraid there is no mercy left for you. This is a supernatural gift. It's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of all truth. So either I'm lying and this is all a big fat lie and y'all are right, or what I'm showing everybody is the truth and y'all are in deep, 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 deep trouble. You got only one thing to look forward to is your eternal abyss. There you go. Everlasting chains of darkness. Let me show you a few more. By the way, you could sit there for hours. I was like, Okay, I can't sit here for hours and just do this. I'll go nuts. There's too much of it. I was like, enough. But I get it. There you go. There. See, I just I did the profile on this one just to make it easy. See the profile? The eye, the nose, the open mouth. This is real common. This is I mean, you can sit there and you can find them all day long. Anyway, but the Lord told me I had to get a high res image, so apparently I heard the Lord's voice right. You're looking at Jude. That's Jude and angels. Ready? I'm going to describe it while we and angels that left their first estate. Here they are and went after strange flesh. There's a penis and a vagina. So there is the angels and angels left that left their first estate. He is kept in everlasting chains of darkness. They're being birthed into human flesh forward and backwards and the ones that know it, made an idol of it, and they're worshiping the one that did it. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> now, let me show you something really creepy. <laughs> if that's not creepy enough for you, let me just make it even more real for you. So now, let me give you like a real world example. Like my friend Randy, by the way, everybody please pray for Randy my friend that I was selling, I was taking him food over the last week. His surgery failed and he started pooping blood, pissing blood. And I mean, throwing up blood. He's in ICU right now. I saw him yesterday and I hope he pulls through. He may not make it, but it was because of Randy and me taking care of Randy that the Lord showed me the next thing you're about to see here. So Lord, please help Randy. So anyway, Randy asked me for a blueberry pancake and I said, mm, okay, well, and he asked me if I'd go to a place called Twin Sisters. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, okay. So I go over to Twin Sisters. And, you know, he's obviously been there before. And I, I used to go there in high school, but never thought anything about it. And, um, and I asked for a blueberry pancake. Well, the girl behind the counter, I was like, oh, my gosh, this chick hates me. I was just like, whoa, check out the vibe. And it was bad. It was like. It was just so, I could, I could totally perceive her hatred for me. And so I was just real like, oh, just blueberry pancake. I'll sit over here. <laughs> Look at your phone. Phones are great for that. 
Well, let me show you what happened. When I sat there and I looked up on the wall, I was like, whoa, what the heck? I looked up on the wall and there's a big all seen eye on the on the bulletin board. And then I'll show you right here behind the counter where you get your orders to go. See, I was getting a to-go order. You see the pyramid say it pointing down? See it makes a cross with the shadow? See the cross with the drop shadow? Did you know that that is just the same hidden in plain sight as everything else I showed? Orders to go. They're making fun of us being the cross pointing down to the pit. That's what that is. Now let me prove it. See, look, orders to go orders, right? And it points down to the pit and see the orange. Like, uh, are those French fries or are those flames or what's up? And it's a triangle. Well, I want you to pay special attention to what's right here on the wall. Okay, now if you look and you pay attention, you'll see the donuts make a face. Eye, eye, and the mouth right here. And it's this waitress wearing a mini skirt and she's holding all the pastries in front of her like she's the dessert. You know what I mean? That's that's the inference there. So let me just show you what's going on here. And let me just show you how absolutely mind boggling this is. So the largest altar in the world, remember is a vagina, a penis, and semen rolling out of that vagina and a bunch of angels turning into semen representing them birthing the system. But let's take a closer look at... Let's take a closer look at... Don't forget the dessert. Did you know this like little triangle thingy like this, like that? Did you know that's the same thing they do around the Virgin de Guadalupe? I'll prove it. Around the Virgin all the time. Doesn't matter if it's the Virgin Mary, Virgin de Guadalupe, whatever. It's just, you know, let's see, images, yeah. Virgin de Guadalupe, there we go. Watch this, there you go. And I'm looking for artist. Yeah, there you go. Kind of like that. That's real normal. That's male and female energy. Did you know that? That's what those represent. And when you look at artistic forms of it, they do it all the time. And they do the little jagged edges all around her. It's super, super common. So... This is the kind of thing that surrounds the Virgin all the time. You see it here in San Antonio. You'll see it all the time. This kind of thing right here. It goes around her whole body. You know, just like that. Now let's take that image right here and let's shove it right up into this right here. There you go. Don't forget the dessert. What do you think the inference is here? And don't forget the dessert from twin sisters look what's dripping out of the spoon huh huh a waitress like that's very suggestive wearing a mini skirt and a bunch of pastries in front of her you know her boobs and her genitalia are pastries well there you go i mean you know it's probably nothing Okay, now, now do you know what spirit cooking is all about? You know, Marina Abramovic, see Marina Abramovic, she's the one that holds the spirit cooking party. That's the female spirit cooking the male spirit, because now the Lord's revealed it all to me. It's one spirit cooking another in the system. That's why you have all the transgender stuff going on right now, because it's a spirit thing, in the end a woman will compass a man um, that's why there's so much gender confusion. That's why Debbie Harry has her own evil twin. This is represents the good one. And it used her vagina with diamonds all over it because that's, to them, those are like their diamonds. That's the way you get everything. That's the way you get it all right there. That's it. That is the way you accomplish it. That's it. And so she's going to cut her own heart out and put it on a plate 
and eat it because that's the thing to do when you're from the other side, the Citra Akra. Do you all understand how obvious all this is now that I can say it like I say it? In kind of a facetious way in order to chide the enemy. But to make my point, did I make my point? <laughs> is it just like, oh, let's see. Is that a bug on my forehead with mandibles? Are those different sperm opposing each other? Are those sperm? Is that a bug with mandibles? Is that what's going on on my forehead? See, I wear this stuff so I can use it as a conversation starter. Or when I'm getting harassed in public by one of the scorpions that's walking around, I can just engage them. I, I, I kind of enjoy it. They say, hey, Johnny, you, uh, you all right? I'm like, I'm good. And you? Are you all right? How are you doing? I'm good. And how are you? Is that a scorpion? Is that a scorpion face on my... My gosh, it sure is. Okay, so now has everything become pathetically abundant? Le obvious? Let's see. Nine, one, one. Look at this as one twin and this is the other. The one and the ones are twins. Just like Debbie Harry. There's one, there's one. Because the angel of the bottomless pit is the one that runs the cannibalistic system. Right side up, upside down. One is one of God's uh, princes, which is referred to as a star. And then he's caught in the system and a demon is working him over. There you go. And then you're caught in their system and you self-cannibalize. And that's why Jesus was crucified between two guys that were both convicted of being thieves in the insurrection. It says it. They had made insurrection with Barabbas. Barabbas means son of the father. So they had made insurrection with Barabbas, the son of the father, but in heaven, who was that son of the father? Lucifer. And they made insurrection with him. So he's going to he's going to reconcile them back to himself by L coming in the system as Emmanuel. Now watch, let me show you how obvious this is. Let me show you how this plays out. Now watch, let me show you some awesome images. Here's this girl. It says 333. Three, three. It's got a halo and a horn. And it says only in half bad. Well, let me ask you this. Do you think the number 333 three, three is important? Uh, um, maybe. If it is, how would we find the significance of its importance? Well, this is what the Lord taught me. You look it up in the Strong's Concordance. Because the Strong's Concordance will tell you what number 333 is in the Bible. That's their playbook. They use it to mock all God's children. So let's look up 333, only in half bad. So it says, only in half bad, it's a horn and a halo. So let's look up 333 in the Strong's Concordance. And if you don't believe me, I'll just type it in for you just for kicks and grins as well. But there it is. Anatherorio. <laughs> it means... I look at, attentively, gaze at, consider, to observe carefully as completing as in completing a process to examine closely and for while I was passing through and examining the objects of your worship beholding the objects of worship well let me ask you this if you're like Jonathan used to be you know and you're full of testosterone and you're concerned about your looks and all that and you're concerned about the girl you're going to be dating. I mean, would you ever consider that the girl that you're looking at is really an object that you're worshiping?
Well, of course you worship them. Come on. I mean, you know, guys worship girls, girls worship guys. I know that, you know, when I got saved, Lou, my girlfriend, I was like, I finally found the greatest girl on the planet. This sums wrong. This is too good to be true. And I did. I worshipped her. And then I got saved, and I, I'll never forget when she told me one day to worship her. And I was like, did you just say worship you? Yeah, and that's when I was like, okay, I know what's going on. There you go. So anyway, she's got 3-3-300 shirt to observe carefully to complete a process. Only half bad. Now, here's a picture of me when I walked into Starbucks and some guy named Alex uh, kept winking at me and sticking out his tongue. And he'd say, hey, Johnny, how you doing? And I told Chris, I said, Chris, I'll bet you a million dollars. Alex draws a picture of me. Chris looked at me like I'd lost my mind. But I could perceive that something very different was running him. Yeah, this is what was running Alex. And I was like, uh, no, I'll bet you a million dollars. I'll give you a million dollars if I get rid of the sunglass intellectual property. Chris said, okay, a week and a half later, two weeks. Alex said, hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. Nice kid. And when he handed me the picture, he drew a dead sheep behind my ear with its tongue sticking out. You know, how you doing, Johnny? Dead sheep. One eye. Eye of the devil looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> how you doing, Johnny? Angel Obama's bit. How you doing, Johnny? You dead sheep. I'm going to get you. You're in the middle of my conversion process. And you're on the slate to be killed. Y'all know who H.R. Geiger is, right? The guy that did all the alien movies. Here is a sheep that's being injected into the system. And by the way, this girl's legs are spread and this goes into her vagina. And look what look what he has. Look what he has in this like glass like light bulb type bubble thing with two different lights shining on it. And it's going into this girl's vagina whose legs are up in the air. I thought I'd skip that part for you. But yeah, look at that. That's a human like sheep. That's some twisted stuff. Remember I showed you this this uh HR Geiger thing called the I, I think the title of this is so important. He calls this the spell room. Oh, casting a magic spell. Just look at it. Male. And female. Okay, right side up star, upside down star. In the same system, as above, so below. And he's got male and female genitalia. But look what's on here for the, for the breasts. Look, it's twins. There's one. There's the eye, nose, and the mouth. There's the shoulder, arm, and it's the eggsman facing one way and one facing the other way. It's a twin system. So let me ask you, who runs the twin system? If you haven't been converted from it, then you still belong to that. That's what runs you. You still belong to it. If you haven't been converted, this is your daddy. That's it. Why do you think, let me ask you a question. Do you know the Bible says we have received the spirit of adoption? You know what adoption means, right? You had a different daddy, different mom. So we were born into the system in our suit of flesh, which is evil, which is run by the scorpions from the pit. And we're walking around thinking we're doing our own thing. But we're really just like ants on the surface that are being run by the queen below. And even though it's not a pheromone that's running us, it kind of is. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. You have an invisible Bluetooth line to everybody that goes to the pit. And again, when I point down, this finger doesn't curl up. See that finger? It's totally broken. And so, yeah, when I point down, it doesn't go, Oh, click! Illuminati! Oh, <laughs> yeah, look in the mirror, Illuminati honors. So weird. So anyway, so when you start looking at H.R. Geiger stuff, it's right on the money. And he wanted to know the origin of everything. Here's a really disturbing photo right there. Uh, one of his art pieces. Oh, wow. It goes right with Ariana Grande. Now, look, let me just show you some. 
that's H.R. Geiger right here. That's H.R. Geiger, the guy from The Alien. Here's Ariana Grande's God is a Woman video. And she's standing right there with all the light coming in on her. I mean, look at that. That's insane. And so, you know, well, so where is all our energy going? What are they doing with all the energy? What's happening to all the the sperm that goes into an egg that becomes a host body? Well, the the spark of life was in that thing. And now it's in a host body being self-cannibalized. Well, let me show you what the whole altar turns into. It all turns into a giant bug. You see the bug right here? See the eye, the eye, the antenna, the antenna? And that, that's the angel of the bottomless pit. Apollyon. They had a king over them. Well, that's the queen of the hive. That's the one milking all the penises for their energy. No different than a honeypot ant that gets the aphids and it stimulates them and the, the secretion comes off and the ants grab it and eat it. What's the difference? What's the difference? There's no difference. That is a big bug with the chair that's the penis going in the mouth of the bug. Hello? Well, now let's go and then now let's watch everything really just come to light. Wow, here's the lift, list of popes. See, it says the whatever, the list of popes. You see this image right here? This is this is like out of the damn alien movies. Look at this thing. Let me show you what it is. That's us. That is us. That's the system we're caught in. And they put their names on this list to show uh, that they're the ones that ruled over us. So let me show you that image. That's us. You see it? That's one of God's children, one of his angels. That's a fetus. That's a fetus. Look at the slave collar. Look. Look at the slave collar. Eye, eye, nose, open mouth, fang, fang. It's called the shadow arts. So the slave collar turns into a beast because we've been turned into the beast system. Oh, that's what the Bible means by the woman that rides the beast. See, all these people that thought they knew it, that they were Bible scholars, know nothing. This is a revelation gift that was waiting for the end of days to be revealed through one of God's servants who is 100% sold out and sometimes whines. Barely. A little bit. Depends on the day and how much crap I've taken that day. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's us. We got turned into, look at the little horns on his head. We got turned into the devil, the woman, the female mother goddess that rides the beast, which is us. And then look, these are two fetuses with umbilical cords going to different sides of his head, showing your split brain. And when you turn it upside down, we were an angel, but we became a locust from the pit. Because we turned into food for one of them. Bam! <laughs> Take that, you big filthy rat. I guess I'm the big filthy rat. Because <laughs> I ratted you out, Satan. <laughs> Woo! Don't like it, do you? <laughs> Johnny the rat. I just totally ratted out the devil. Feels good. What are you going to do? But I'm not afraid of him. Why? What do I have to be afraid of? There, look at the locusts with the mandibles. Look at that. They had hair like women. So here's all this hair. And then look, there's a crown on its head. The, the teeth become a crown. Eye, eye, big gnarly mandibles. Teeth like lions. The sound of their wings. There's the wings like many horses rushing into the battle. See all the... See all the uh, the wind moving, that's the hair, look. So hair comes out the top. 
Okay, watch this. I want to show you something. This actually becomes a crown on his head. This thing right here. And then the hair comes out and goes down. You know, like like the girls like Ariana Grande that do the genie hairdo. It's the same damn thing. Watch. Watch this. It's like, uh Creepy. Let's see. Ariana Grande, Grande, sorry, Grande, oh, sorry about that, Ariana Grande, there you go, see like that. That, that's it. So see, they do their hair like, like uh, that thing in the that you're looking at. Look, see that right there? See this? There you go. There you go. See that? Let me show you something. That's this coming out. They had hair like women, faces like unto men. The face of the man is upside down. Teeth like lion. They had the sound of their wings with as many horses rushing into battle. I mean, guys, you're looking at it. There it is. Look at it. I'll just enlarge it. Take, let you take a look. Look at that. By the way, when you turn it right side up, that's his tongue sticking out. Have I not said you are gods, but you shall die like men? So all these gods that were foolish enough to want to go for the forbidden fruit, this is what happens. Now look. You see that? That's Eros and Psyche. That's that's an angel. That's an angel right there kissing a woman. But when you turn it sideways, it's a dead sheep. I mean, what does it take, guys? Look at this guy's tattoo on his back. Well, let's just look at the tattoo. What's the tattoo? What is it? Well, let's see. I just drew it. I just colored this in. It's a devil. It's like some satanic looking dude wearing a wearing a hoodie. It looks like an angel right here trying to get out. See his hands? And here's like his wing. It's like an angel. He's got three stripes on his face like, you know, the Monster Energy drinks. It's kind of weird. You got the devil down here. You have this crossing. But look at the movement all going in. All this movement's going in here. Wait a minute. There's a big sheep right here. Look at the mouth. Look at the nose. Wait a minute. Let's take a let's let's do a what does the Bible say? I've come to give sight to the blind. What's it mean? To open their eyes. To inspect closely to behold. Close inspection. I was doing a scorpion. See, there's a scorpion's face and there's the pinchers. <laughs> you don't know where you're at, people. I mean, the ones that want to come against us, you just don't know where you're at. You're lost. Okay, so here we go. Let's do a closer inspection. Oh, my gosh. Not a penis again. Yeah, penis. So there's a white penis, and there's the scrotum, and that's made by the devil. Yay. Well, I did all these little white dots, so you can see. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's a sheep's face. Let's see, right there. See, it's a sheep. That's the ear of the sheep, eye of the sheep. See the sheep? It's a sheep. Oh, not a sheep again. And there I do it. This time, I, there you go. There's the penis. Is I did it in pink now. There it is. So now we'll do the, the penis and the scrotum is the eye of the sheep. Look, see the eye of the sheep? Let's put it right there. Bam! So the eye and the ear of the sheep are a penis and a scrotum. Wow! How come the whole thing is a big human heart? I did it in all red. And it's an angel and a demon. And they're linked together by this chain link right here. Oh, wow. You know what the Bible says. When you walked according to the course of this world and the spirit... And the prince of the power of the air, 
the spirit. What is the word spirit? Someone tell me. What's the word spirit in Ephesians 2? See if you can beat me. Ephesians 2. Uh, Ephesians 2. What's the word spirit? When you walked according to the course of this world and the prince of the power of the air, which is Satan, the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. What's the word spirit? It means a superhuman, an angel, comma, demon. Uh, uh, what's up, dude? That's an angel demon right there. A superhuman angel. Oh, there's a demon. There's a demon. Angel demon. Superhuman angel demon. Because your heart's been corrupted. Oh, how did it get corrupted? Well, when Lucifer was in the garden of Elohim, and the Bible says you set your heart as the heart of Elohim, I'm not just going to tell you. I'm going to prove it to you. For all you lovely false prophet honors. <laughs> oh, you guys are the saddest of all. Okay, let's go to Ezekiel 28. Uh-uh. Let's see. It says, Say to the prince of Tyre, said the Lord God, because in thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am, look, so thou hast said, I am a L. You're ant, you're wrong. You said, I am an L. I sit in the seat of Elohim. See, Satan was in the, Lucifer, I'm sorry, I said Satan. Satan is the name after he gets cast down. So Lucifer is sitting in the seat of Elohim in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man. Because now he's been thrown down to the ground. And thou art not El, see, the Almighty. Though thy set, look, here it is. Thou set thine heart as the heart of Elohim. Oh my gosh, what do you think that altar of all those angels in the Vatican is? All the Elohim that had their hearts changed, and now they're caught in everlasting forward and backwards, chains of darkness, ligaments of the body. Hava, halava, gia. <laughs> y'all are busted. Yeah, it's over for y'all. I'm sorry. But y'all have brewed a cup of terror for others, so you will be recompensed double. Double. Yep. So, let's see. Anything else I need to go over? There's a couple more images. Let me just kind of wrap this video up. I'm kind of having fun getting it out. Get it out, Johnny. No, so though, remember, remember Flo, the girl in the progressive commercials, they run around putting their signs in everybody. Protection by Flo since 1937, which is extreme desire to lust, lust after. And when you lusted after it, you got the sting of death from the scorpion girl. Woo There's a girl that's a witch. Tattoo on a girl's back. It's a dead sheep all here in white. See the little white dots? That's sheep fur. There's the eye of the sheep. There's the curly horn. And there's the scorpion stinger. And there's the part that's the penis and scrotum. And the sperm right there is the stinger of the scorpion. Because y'all know how this all started here, right? Now... Let's talk about Janus real, real quick. What is that? That's the wheat in the weeds. What's that? That's the female genitalia. And that's a male penis penetrating it. That's what that is. No doubt about it. Seen it. Uh, Y'all remember what I was told to put in that container that's already in Grand Junction? Lord told me make a tidal wave covering the statue of Liberty. Anybody see the most recent Shining Spear of God Awards? What was their stage? It was a tidal wave splashing, you know, whoo, splash right there. Okay, guess what's coming? Now, I want to tell you a horrifying little story. Y'all got five more minutes? I want to get this off my chest. So... I'm not going to mention any names, but someone that I know very well and that knows me very well, um, two people, 
I was engaged and there was like a conversation going on and they go, check out, you know, Johnny. They didn't call me Johnny, but they were referring to me. Like, check out Johnny. He's got that foreign drip going. Foreign drip. And I know what it means. I know what that spirit is saying towards me. Foreign drip means angels that got turned into semen and are breeding in this population. We're the foreign drip. That's a new slang term in rap music for like the way you clothe yourself. Think of that. They cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. So while I'm being called foreign drip, I'm like... That's kind of disgusting, guys. And they said, oh, no, it just means like the way you dress and the way you wear, you know, your drip, like the way you adorn yourself. Well, I'm not that easily fooled. So I went and looked it up. And so when I looked up foreign drip and I checked out some songs by a rap artist named YB instead of YG this time. I'm like, wow, he's got like YBN, Foreign Drip, uh, and then, oh no, this is the guy, yeah. Three events, Foreign Drip, Explicit. So there it is, Foreign Drip. So I went and looked up the lyrics to the song Foreign Drip. Now, you know, someone would used to call me, as someone would have called me Foreign Drip before I got saved. I'd be like, <laughs> you're going to be dripping saliva through the teeth you're missing. <laughs> but I was just like, that's so disgusting. I was like, ah. And they tried to cover it up. And I was like, no. Let me show you a foreign drip. Why be in Almighty J? Yeah, why be? New drip, new drip, new biash, new biash. Whole lot of said flag calling and texting. Oh, I had to learn my lesson. My lesson, yeah, can't be broken. Stressing. Oh, those are some awesome lyrics. <laughs> my diamonds wet like a fish tank. Drip. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. My diamonds wet like a fish tank. Uh, that's just wrong. So, we live in a world that is truly hidden from your sight while you're right in it. But once you're awake, you can resolve all of it. I can do this all day long now. <laughs> it's just so crazy. Like I remember it used to like overwhelm me. Now I'm just like, nah, whatever. It's like I got beamed down from the Star Trek Enterprise on a foreign planet and I was bad and now I gotta I gotta walk it out to the end of my trial that's what we all have to do by the way your angels the Bible says and I'm gonna quote the Bible Jesus said do not your own scriptures say I have said ye are gods Psalm 82 ye are gods Elohim all of you are children of the Most High but yeah you're gonna die like men and you're gonna fall like one of the princes. Because we all got in trouble, man. So I'm hoping everybody takes a free gift of God, the Lord God, because Jesus is the Lord God come in the flesh to forgive those that rose against him. Oh, is that what the Bible means? While you were yet my enemies, I died for you. While you were yet my enemies, I died for you. Jesus died for each one of us. Isn't that just the most incredible, impeccable love story ever? Ever. Ever. I, he didn't just die for you. He was slaughtered for us. Violently murdered. So, when the day comes where he says, Guys, what did you do with the free gift I gave you? And you're like, nothing. And it's like, okay. Now, I want to tell you a little story about back in the old days when a king used to conquer a city, like when, like, let's say when Nebuchadnezzar conquered Jerusalem back in those days. 
If the king came riding in on a donkey, that meant back in those times that there would be quarter for the inhabitants of the city. That means they're not going to kill everybody. So, man, you know, if, if your army lost and you guys lost, when they come riding in on their horses, you know, they come riding in. If that king is riding in on a donkey, everybody's like, whew, we're not all going to get, because they'll line you all up and kill you right then and there. But if the king came riding in on a white horse, do you know what that meant? Everybody gets it. And so that's the reason Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the Passover on a donkey's colt. It was the ultimate symbol of mercy. They were laying down the palm leaves. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. He rode in on a donkey's colt. Ultimate humility to try and get back his children. I'm a harbinger. He's coming back on a white horse. You know what that means now, right? All those that have self-appointed themselves to be false prophet hunters, you're no different than the Jews and the Pharisees in the time of Jesus. I wonder where they all are. Amen. So be it. Okay, guys. What'd you think? <laughs> Everyone's like, ah! I know, right? It's so intense. There's so much stuff. So anyway, we're getting ready. You know, we're putting together the end time event. It's a lot of work. And it requires many steps to get there. People want to know, what's the date? Here's my answer. I don't know. I have no idea. The Lord will let me know. It's all according to his schedule, but it's definitely coming. So we'll see what happens, you know. I don't know what the schedule is. We're just, I'm not sure of the mechanics of everything, but on a daily basis, I'm working towards my end that he's conveyed to me. And I will keep working on that end until it is accomplished until he lets me know and in the interim he's showing us all this cool mind-boggling stuff that you can even go to the mall and you can have buy buy a, a hat or buy a shirt at zoomies and they'll give you a shopping bag that has a prehensile vagina coming out of a dimension and that prehensile vagina that's coming out of the dimension is eating sperm that are they're eating, look, it's eating sperm. Look, right there. Right here. See the sperm? It's eating sperm, and it's coming out of a dimension. Just, that was the bait. We'll set up the bait. And then there's your dead sheep right there on a bag. Right there. Look at that. Bam. And there is that arm coming out of the dimension that we never should have opened up. Now, if anyone thinks you can come up with a rational argument against this, good luck. I mean, enjoy yourselves. And anyone that just has a bunch of slanderous names to call, well, enjoy your future. It's not good. Um, but I would take the free gift of God, which is eternal life. And the way to do that is you admit you deserve death. You admit you're a sinner. You admit who you are before God. And you ask him to cleanse your heart. And that you have absolutely nothing to offer him in return. I love you. I'm sorry. I deserve my punishment. Forgive me. And submit. Otherwise, the horse is coming and it's a white horse. Okay? God bless you guys.